Good day, everyone. In the news now, there is an article that should concern you with regards to the technology available to monitor, track and trace you at this stage. And this is used in this case for students and for invigilation. Now, I've invigilated many exams before as a senior instructor. And, you know, knowing that the student actually wrote the paper and making sure that it's their content that people don't have discussions with each other if you want to test an individual is very important however how far does technology go and what can that technology be used for other than invigilation and in this article in times live it says the in invigilator app uses selfies to ensure online exams are above board but it doesn't just use selfies it uses your location your movement your proximity to other people and many other things and this is the main concern here so i want you to click on the link of this article and go through the entire article i just want to cover the most important parts which is specific to uh the south african circumstances and the specific technology that they are using uh, in this case and they say in time however the team added more functionality by using some of the best artificial intelligence available this included requiring students to take random selfies during an assessment which are matched through facial recognition technology to to a master photo to verify the identity of students on an ongoing basis this feature uses a liveness test a form of anti-spoofing technology that ensures sure that students aren't supplying photos of photos or photos or videos every selfie received must be live if it isn't the app will flag this issue for lecturers to review okay and then besides that it actually has the mic on listening to whether you are talking to other people um and I quote you, we started by implementing obvious solutions. First, as you better, we use GPS tracking to pinpoint the location of students and the proximity to one another and introduce facial recognition technology, which verifies students' identities as they sit down to write. We also enabled our app to take random audio recordings. This feature prevents students from speaking while they write. They always, there's always a chance that they being recorded. So you won't take a chance to open your mouth, speak to someone else while you're writing. So all these things are implemented. I'm not going to go into all the detail now, but you, I want you to be aware that an invigilation app has been created by the University of Johannesburg so that the students can write remotely and they want to verify that they aren't cheating while the exam is ongoing. But look at everything that's being used here. And if you actually look at the detail, this already exists on your current phone if you think that you're not being listened to that you are not being watched and that gps is not being used to track your every location you're mistaken it's already there in this case an app was just written to actually use all of these things that's already available to monitor track and trace your every move so thank you very much for watching this video please click on the link in the description below this video as well as in the first comment and read this article from top to bottom and understand what this technology can do and in this case it's used for invigilation but what other things can it be used for and this is what you need to think about especially when it comes to your freedom and government and other international organizations trying to get information on you thank you very much for your support for sharing the videos, for liking the videos, and for creating this community that has grown to where it is today. We're on our way to 42,000 subscribers, and it's your community, and it's you that make this happen. Thank you so much. Till the next video.